I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. Here is a very important question based on the algebra of vectors. If sum of unit vectors is a unit vector, find the magnitude of their difference. Four choices are given to us. So let's try to see the scenario. When can the sum of unit vectors be a unit vector? Now this in itself is a big question. So basically that reminds you of an equilateral triangle, right? So if one vector is like this, the other one we have kind of like this. In that case, the sum of these two could be a unit vector, right? So that is how we could get a unit vector. So let's say this is our vector 1, A, this is vector B, then C will be a unit vector. It's an equilateral triangle, correct? So in that case, this angle will be 60 degrees and this angle will also be 60 degrees. Correct? So that is the only case where all the unit vectors will be, so the magnitude of A is 1. So we say magnitude of A equals to 1. Magnitude of B is equal to 1. And then we get this. So from the given criteria, we could make this kind of a drawing. Now, how do you find difference of unit vector, right? So here, we know C is basically A plus B, and the magnitude is, magnitude of C is equal to 1, correct? Okay? This is what we have got. Now, we need to find the difference of A and B, right? So, we need to find what is A minus B equals to, and its magnitude, right? find the magnitude of their difference. This is what we need to calculate. So how can we calculate this? Well, if this is your B vector, then minus B will be in this direction. So that will be minus B, correct? So when we want to say A minus B, in that case, the resultant will be like this. Correct? Now here we have an isosceles triangle, right? With angle at this point will be how much well this is a straight line so this angle is 120 degrees correct so that angle becomes 60 plus 120 gives you 180 and we know these sides are 1 1 and now we can use cosine law right so so now we we can use cosine law to find the magnitude of this and this becomes our a minus b is that clear to you magnitude so using cosine law here, what do we get? We get a square, which is 1, plus b square, which is 1, minus 2 times a times b times cos of angle 120. Is that clear? So that is how we actually get square of this difference. So what we have done here, we have applied cosine law, right? So, see, we have SAS, we have two sides, so we can apply cosine law to get the difference. So, that gives you answer as 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2 times what is cos of 120. So, if you look into the cosine angle, in quadrant 2, it is going to be negative, acute angle being 60 degrees, correct? So, if you look into the triangle, it is half, correct? For 60 degrees, so it is 2 times half. So, that gives you, and that too, because it is on this side, it will be negative. It will be negative half, right? So, that is going to be your value of cos of 120, right? So, we know all are positive here, only sine is positive, tan is positive in 3, and cos in 4. So, in quadrant 2, sine cos is negative. So, we get minus half in this particular case. So, what we get here is 2 plus 1. So, the answer is 3. So, the difference will be, uh, I mean, this is square, right? So, the magnitude of the difference will be square root of 3, correct? So, option D is the right option. Is that clear to you? Now, this is a very important question. First, you need to figure out the sum of unit vectors is unit means what? 
means we have formed a equilateral triangle using these two unit vectors, right? So all these angles are 60 degrees. When we do A minus P, in that case, this angle becomes 120 degrees. When you place 120 degrees, you get minus half here and then the result. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.